Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you. Let me just face the camera right here. Okay. Just, good evening. Welcome. Okay. I think it looks a little bit better, but it cannot be seen. I have to. Okay. That's better. Sorry. Okay, um, everybody, welcome once again. I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. you just give me a second. There it is. Okay, um, welcome. As usual, I'm going to go through the attendance list. Just give me a second. All right, so uh, when you hear your name, please let me know. I'm going to begin. Abdi Avisua Peña Lopez. Abdi Avisua Peña Lopez. Alejandro José Quintanilla Ayala. Alejandro José Quintanilla Ayala. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher present. Welcome. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present, teacher. Welcome. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutiérrez. Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutiérrez. César Alexander Ramírez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank welcome, you. welcome. Thank you very much. Claudia Janet Iraeta Martinez. Claudia Janet Iraeta Martinez. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejía. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. I'm here, please, teacher. Welcome. Jose Eraivin Enriquez. Good evening. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Carla Stephanie Perla Umansor. Carla Stephanie Perla Umansor. Luis Fernando Enriquez Herrera. Present, teacher. Welcome. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Good evening, Mar present. Okay, good evening. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present, teacher. Welcome. Melanie Andrea Trinidad Villanueva. Present. Welcome. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present, teacher. Welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Present. Hello. Rosa Esmeralda. Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Uh, welcome. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Present teacher. Welcome. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Welcome. Everybody remember that your name, your full name should be in display. 
Okay, not just one name and one last name, but your full name, your complete name. Okay, all right, let's begin. Everybody, welcome. This is Advanced English Free, and that's me, Ivan Donyang, at your service. This is session number five, and uh, today's November the 6th. We have two chat entries here. Alejandro Quintanilla, okay. Welcome, Alejandro. Thank you. Okay, all right. Also, Claudia Yanet. Claudia Yanet. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Claudia. All right. So, uh, today's November the 6th of 2023. Let's begin. Today, we start uh, section number two uh, from the manual. So, let's begin. So, um, we're going to do a lot of speaking, okay, this week. Okay. So, I, I want everybody's participation. It's a good opportunity for you to express yourselves. Especially because the topic is, you know, everyday annoyances. What is that? Things that annoy you, things that bother you. Okay, it's a good opportunity to just let it out, okay, and express or talk about those things that you don't like. Okay, so um, take a look. Have you ever had a problem similar to these? Do you agree or disagree with these comments? So um, there's the first one, okay. Can somebody help me read this, please? The first one, the first one and the second one. Okay, just uh, anybody? Nobody. Okay, so the thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. So that's the first one. Okay, the thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. You have two kids riding their scooters right here. They are on the sidewalk, right? Some vocabulary here. There's the street and that's where cars are, of course, where cars circulate. And then where people circulate, where people walk, that's the sidewalk. Okay, so uh, this is not a common sight in El Salvador. Mm, not many kids have a scooter like this, okay? Um, and I have never seen a kid riding the scooter on the sidewalk, okay, to be honest with you. Maybe in a park, but not on the sidewalk. But sometimes people ride their bicycles on the sidewalk. Or there are skaters. Okay, on the sidewalk. That's a much more common sight in the Salvador. So um, what, what about this? Okay, do you agree or disagree with, with the first comment? Let's say the thing that I hate is when kids or when people in general ride their bicycle or their uh, skateboard on the sidewalk. Do you agree? Does it bother you? Or are you okay with this? If you want to participate, you may raise your hand. What do you think about this? Gladys. I'm a, I'm agree with that, but they have to be careful with the people are, are walking. Okay, so you have, okay, so in this case, you can say, I don't mind, oops. I don't, I don't mind, mind that, I don't mind that, you can say, all right? So, because if you say, yeah. I agree, uh -huh. okay. It's because because here is in the most of the street is is not a uh how do you say carril lane mm -hmm. so they drive then there okay so because there isn't a special lane for for bicycles and 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 skateboards, basically. Okay, so, well, not for them, but for the people riding them. <laughs> Most of the times there isn't a special lane for them. Okay, in some cases there are lanes, but in most of the cases there aren't. So in your case, you don't really mind. Okay, so, well, that's the first one. What about the second one? Imelda, can you help me read it? Cars. The second Yo, one. One thing. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up of, on time for things. Yeah, one thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things, okay? Like this lady, she's waiting at the movies, probably she said. That is bothering me a lot. That bothers you a lot, okay. You know, to, to be waiting for people. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, it's annoying. No, no okay. because I, I, I don't. I'm sorry? 
a mí no me gusta hacer esperar a la gente. Así, ok, ok. Pero lo mismo. All right. Oh, well, let's speak English. No, I, I asked for repetition because uh, it, it breaks up. Okay, not because I don't understand your English. <laughs> It's because it breaks up. Okay, what you're saying sounds like. Okay, <laughs> okay. so, all right. So you, you don't like to make people wait for you and therefore you don't appreciate it when, when they make you wait for them. Okay, I get that. All right, so yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, that, this also bothers me. Okay, this also bothers me, especially when they don't bother to call me and say, hey, listen, I'm going to be late for whatever reason. No, they just show up late. Okay, and, and that's a problem that I have right there. So um, let's continue. The next two situations. I need a volunteer. Who who wants to help me read number three? People riding on the bus. Okay, this can be annoying. Madeline. Something that bugs me is people who take up to sit on a crowded bus. Okay, something that bugs me, okay, something that annoys me or makes me angry or upset is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus, like this lady, I mean, she's using one seat to place her bags, okay, what do you think, uh, Madeline, okay, uh, does it annoy you? I hate that. You hate oh, that? Hate. Yeah. With it's emphasis on hate. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> That's a very strong reaction right there. Okay. So, yeah, but, but I totally get it. Okay. Well, there's a crowded bus and, and, and some people are, you know, taking up two seats unnecessarily. In, in in my opinion, this is my opinion only, okay, if you're carrying bags, then you have to carry the bags, okay, on your lap. It's not fair for other people to be like standing like this lady just because you don't want to carry your bags on your lap. I mean, it's public transportation. This once happened to me several years ago. I remember that I was, I, I uh, got on the bus and, um, there was a driver and the seat behind the driver on the seat behind the driver was a lady just like this okay there was a lady with some bags and things on the other seat and then i told the lady hey uh, excuse me can i can i sit here and she says something like no no because i'm i'm using the seat and the bus driver apparently was having none of that because he 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 turned around and he said like okay lady give the guy a chance okay and she had to do it and i was like thank you <laughs> Okay, apparently he didn't like that kind of attitudes either. So it was uh, a similar experience to this. All right, so what about the last one? Okay, um, I need a volunteer to read it. Who can help me? Raise your hand if you want to go. Miss Romero. Okay, the thing I can't tell is co-workers who leave their cell phone ringing on their desk. <laughs> yeah the thing i can't stand is co-workers who leave their cell phone ring cell phones ringing on their desks what do you think miss romero is this true do you agree and um, that happened to me but with my sister with your sister so she yeah. leaves the phone okay on your yeah. room and starts uh, i hate it totally <laughs> okay yeah all right so you hate that um Well, you know, I, I mean, this is like my second job. I have a daytime job. I mean, besides working at Inglés Corporativo. And, and and it happens a lot there, okay? Because I'm sitting at my desk, okay? On my, there's a cubicle that I work in. And, and, and suddenly I hear cell phones ringing. And I go like, what's going on? And then I realize that some people have probably just stood up and left and are away somewhere doing god knows what okay and they have left their phones right there and the phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and it's particularly annoying when the ringtone is annoying okay there's there's a very fashionable ringtone these days i'm not going to say which one it is because i don't want to upset anybody in case you have it too but there is one particular ringtone that is fashionable these days that i find very annoying and it turns out as it turns out this person who does this has that particular ringtone Uh, I really don't like it, but yeah, that's the thing. Some vocabulary here. Okay, everybody, thanks for your participation. Um, you have some expressions. The first one is um, 
you can say the thing that I hate, okay, that's one, the thing that I hate. You can also say one thing that bothers me, okay, the thing that I hate, one thing that bothers me. Then on the next one, you have uh, uh, something that bugs me, okay? That's another one. It's a bit more informal, but you can use it. Something that bugs me. And another one is the thing I can't. I think I can't stand, all right? That's it. When you want to talk about something that bothers you, Okay, you can uh, begin by using any of these phrases, not phrases, any of these clauses that you have right here. Um, by the way, you know, these are usually called pet peeves. What are pet peeves? Pet peeves are things that you find particularly annoying. Those are pet peeves. Okay, for example, one thing that I hate, this is an example of mine, okay, very personal example, is uh, because I'm a very fast walker. I walk fast for some reason. I don't like to walk slowly. But when I'm walking fast and, and there's a group of people walking in front of me and they're walking slowly and they're completely blocking the way. That bugs me, okay? I mean, I try to understand because I am the one who walks fast and they have their own speed for walking. And, and I understand that people are different, but, but I get impatient. I totally get impatient and I want to like just get through and I tell people, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, until I get through because I, I, I find it really annoying to just slow down and wait for people to continue walking like during some religious procession or something. So um, I find it annoying. So I can say that the thing that I can stand is people who walk slowly in front of me, for example. No offense if you walk slowly. Okay, by the way, this is a very personal thing. Okay, everybody has their own speed. We're walking. So um, again, you can you can use any of these expressions to uh, talk about your pet peeves. And what are the pet peeves? The pet peeves are the things that annoy you. Okay. Um, can I have a volunteer? Maybe you can you can express one thing that you don't like by using one of these expressions. What can you say? Use this opportunity. Use this opportunity as a form of catharsis. Okay, and 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 express what you feel. Okay. Let it all out. Okay. Okay. Boris. Thank you, Boris. Hey, teacher. I try to don't <laughs> get angry a lot of. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the thing that I hate is when kids uh, play soccer on the street um, because sometimes they uh, break the, the car's window and run. Oh, really? So they kick the ball and the ball hits the car windows and it breaks the windows. Yeah, breaks the window and, and after run. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, yeah, that's very irresponsible. But yeah, okay, yeah, definitely. I mean, you have to hate that, especially if it's your car. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, I, I, I understand. I totally understand. Yeah, that, that's something that I will hate too. It's never happened to me, but if it happened to me, I will definitely hate it. Okay, thank you, Boris. Um, anyone else? That was very good, by the way. Uh, Gabriela Sequeira. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Well, one thing that bothers me is hear the noise when someone is chewing. When someone so, is? Chewing. 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 Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, so it, it, it bothers you to hear people chewing loudly. Yes. You will hate yeah. you will hate me then. <laughs> but it's common when I'm not doing that. But okay. if I if I'm eating, that uh -huh. I can handle it. But if I'm not, that bothers me a lot. Okay, you know I I I am very noisy when I'm eating, but not because I I eat with my mouth open or anything. I mean I eat with my mouth closed like this. But everybody tells me that. My wife tells me that. My daughter tells me that. She said that they say that when I'm chewing, I make a lot of noise, but the noise is inside. So I'm like, okay. And they say that I make a lot of noise when I chew. And and they, they, they take it with very good humor because it, it they find it funny. But uh, 
I don't know what to do because that's the way I chew and I don't know how not to make noise when I'm chewing. Okay, it's kind of strange. It mm. depends uh, the place or the moment. Sometimes you you are in in a place very quiet, so. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Maybe that, that, that has something to do with it, probably. Yeah, true. Okay, um, Ms. Romero and then Byron. Something that I hate is when um, the drivers don't turn on the light when they gonna like turn, turn. to the right or turn to the left. Oh, damn it! I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it it's it's annoying, definitely annoying, especially when you're waiting. Okay, and and. Um, and, and you think they're coming straight, okay? But no, they're going to turn, okay? And then you go like, what? <laughs> okay, you could have let me know by turning the directional lights, but no, you didn't. Yeah, I was so, waiting for nothing. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly, exactly. They're wasting your time. And also it's dangerous if you're driving behind them because they can suddenly turn left or turn right and, and, and you don't know what they're going to do, okay? So that's why it's safe it's best to, to, to keep a safe distance between one car and the other. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm totally with you right there. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's annoying. Okay. <laughs> I once saw on Facebook one post that there was a guy saying like, did you know that your car has something that lets you indicate when you're going to turn left or right? <laughs> I found, I found it funny because it's like, it's like people don't know. I mean, they know, but they, they never use it. Anyway, uh, thank you, Ms. Romero. Byron, your turn. <laughs> okay. The thing I can't stand is when my neighbor listens to music with the volume very high. Okay. They listen to loud music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I am... Byron, what about if you <laughs> like the, the music he's listening <laughs> I guess that's that's the main problem. He probably doesn't like it. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, right, that's a problem. I don't like it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that that happens. That happens. I try not to be this kind of neighbor. Actually, I don't own a stereo. I don't have a stereo because I don't need it. In my house, everybody when when we listen to music, we just put on the earphones. Okay, that's what we do. Um. And occasionally, I, I play music on the on the TV screen or the, the the computer monitor, but it's always at you know a moderate volume. I don't like to be that kind of neighbor. But I have to admit that I have had this kind of neighbor, and uh, right now I'm, well, I, I bought this house recently, and uh, there there are some people who live outside the neighborhood who sometimes play loud music late at night. And uh, I think they're drunk or something because they, 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 it's like karaoke or something. So they start singing, you know, at, at maximum lung capacity. Okay. They sing so loud and, and the volume is so high. Okay. That, uh, I don't know, is that the kind of music that people listen to when they're heartbroken? So, um, I don't know. It makes me think that they have probably had a few drinks. I, I don't know. But yeah, but that happens. That's disrespectful too. Yes, it is disrespectful because... Yeah, because you know. everyone, like the most, the, most of the people is like arriving from their job and they want to rest mm -hmm. and they're doing that. They can't. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. They can't. So, exactly. Yeah. They can't. Although those people do it mostly on Fridays and Sundays. So anyway, well, well, okay. Um, uh, Jose Raivin. Teacher, I have a question. What's your question? Uh, about the, the word people, mm -hmm. how do we have to use that word in plural or in people, singular? People is a plural noun. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we have to say people are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah. The word persons also exists, but it's more formal. You can the singular form is person, the plural form becomes is people. 
but also you can say persons, which is very formal, okay? But yeah, singular person, plural people or persons. All right, uh, well, look at the situations above. Would you complain or would you be quietly annoyed? Okay, well, I guess we have talked about this long enough. Let's go over this. Lesson objective 2.0. At the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use relative clauses and noun clauses in the same sentence. So what are we going to do right here? You have some grammar. There's relative clauses and noun clauses. So take a look. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Okay. So you can say something that bugs me. Okay, something that bugs me. Okay, that will be in the subject part of the sentence. Why is that? Because you have the verb, is, that's the verb. Anything that comes before the verb is the subject. Anything that comes after the verb is the complement of the sentence and often the object of the sentence, of the verb, I'm sorry. So something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. So we have studied relative clauses before. Take a look, you say something that bugs me. That's a relative clause occurring in the subject part of the sentence. So something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. Who take up two seats on a crowded bus is also a relative clause, but now this is part of the object of the verb. Okay, so basically a relative clause can occur at the beginning of the sentence or, I mean, before the verb, which that will mean that it's part of the subject, or it can happen after the verb, which would mean it is part of the object of the verb. So there's a second example. The thing that I can't stand, okay, and in this case, you can omit it because you have a subject right here. The thing I can't stand is coworkers who, or that, leave their cell phones ringing on their desks, okay? So again, that I can't stand is a relative clause occurring in the subject part of the sentence. And then you have the verb, is. Co-workers who or that leave their cell phones ringing on their desk. This section or this phrase, uh, clause, I'm sorry, who or that leave their cell phones ringing on their desk is a relative clause occurring on the object part of the sentence. So they can come at the beginning or at the end. They can come up either before the, sub, before the verb, I'm sorry, or after the verb, okay? Relative clauses. Now, one thing to remember about relative clauses is that they begin with a relative pronoun, okay? And uh, there are three relative pronouns that we use, okay? Those relative pronouns are who, remember, that we use it for people. We use uh, which, that we use for things or situations. Also, when you want to comment on the whole situation. And there is that, okay? Which we use for people, things, and situations. Okay, now wait a second, not situations, making a mistake here, only people and things. If you want to talk about situations, you have to use which. So um, that's the idea. So how do you identify a relative clause? Well, normally they begin like this. They begin with a relative pronoun, who, which, or that. As you can see in the examples right here, something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can stand is co-workers who, or that, leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. And then you have the relative clauses. But what about the second part? Everybody take a look at this. Some sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. You can say, the thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. You can also use when, but normally this is known as a noun clause, not a relative clause. So when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things, okay? That's something that bothers you. When, you can also use when for this type of clauses. Let me just, oops, <laughs> minimize this. Well, I can't. All right, that's the idea. What are we going to do here? 
we have a speaking activity. Pair work, complete the sentences with your own opinions, then discuss them with a partner, okay? We can we can uh, just have some oral practice right here because there's a lot of oral practice for this unit. And I believe that's a good thing. So something that bothers me about my friends is, okay, this is your opportunity to express what bothers you about your friends because they're your friends, but they're not perfect. They always do things that annoy you. So when they don't return my calls, yeah, that's annoying, by the way. You call them, they don't answer the phone, and then you wait for them to call you back and they never call back. It's like, what, they don't care? You know, by the way, something that bothers me about people on when when when, when you're texting them is, uh, for example, you send people a message on WhatsApp. Okay. And uh, you can see the double check, meaning they have received the message. Good. But they don't see the message. And you can totally tell that they are online. So you go, okay, so the person is online and the person has received the message. So the person is deliberately ignoring the message. It's like they have. Th there are some messages that take priority and some others that can wait, apparently. I don't know about you, but when I receive a message, I, I take a look. It doesn't really matter who sends it to me. Okay, I just see it. But they can just, you know, leave the messages, pile up right there, and, and they just ignore them. Okay, I don't know why, but some people do it. And that, I find that annoying. Okay, so that's something that bothers me about, not my friends, because my friends don't do that, but other people in general, like coworkers, sometimes they do this. You send them an important message, and then because it is the weekend, I guess, they don't see the message until Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so it's like, okay, what's going on? But this is an example, okay? So uh, we have the second one, which is one thing that irks me. Irks me is something that bothers me. It's the same thing, the same idea. One thing that irks me about my neighbors is, what's something that irks you about your neighbors? Now, Byron told us that uh, something that irks him about his, his neighbors is when they play loud music, especially because it's music he doesn't enjoy. So um, what's something that irks you about your neighbors? Raise your hand if you want to say something. Uh, Jose, your hand is up. I don't know if you wanted to participate or if you just left your hand up. You left it up, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to turn. Sorry. Okay, it's fine. Don't but, worry. Okay. Well, something that irks me about my neighbors mm -hmm. is when it's very early on weekdays, uh, no, weekends, mm -hmm. and they play loud music. It's always the same problem, but uh, on uh, weekends and very early when I'm still uh, resting. Uh -huh. When you're on your bed. Um, they used to wake me up. They, they used to or they still do? They used to do it every every weekend, every uh, Saturday. So, but they don't do it anymore. Or do they? No, no, they they still ah okay. Do it, but... so, so that's 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 what uh, confuses me because if you say used to, you say they used to do it. That means that they don't do it anymore. They did it in the past, oh, okay, but not anymore. Okay, so in this case, you say you you just simply say they do it. Okay. Okay, they do it. Okay, so all right, but I have a question. I mean. How early do they play this music? Like six in the morning. Six in the morning. That's it's pretty early, yeah, for a Saturday and Sunday, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds annoying. I'm with you. If if I were in this situation, I would be annoyed. Okay, thank you, Jose. Uh Miss Romero and then Alejandro. One thing that irks me about my neighbors is that they don't and use the garbage truck. Can I say that like that? Garbage truck. Yeah, they burn the garbage. Oh. So there is a lot of smoke around here. Uh huh. Yeah. No, Sometimes that's annoying. The yeah. You know where, where I used to live. Well, this year I have moved twice, <laughs> but uh, 
before coming to this city, okay, I used to live in, in, in Ciudad Delgado. And um, there, you know, the people who lived behind the house where I was uh, living in, was not my house, I was paying rent. Uh, they used to do this. They used to burn the trash. And it was so incredibly annoying because uh, the houses were at two different levels. The house where I was living in was at a higher level and their house was at a lower le level. So the thing is that they were burning the trash and all the smoke would just rise up. And it was particularly annoying because they have like this, I don't know if they did it on purpose. I don't want to think they did it on purpose, but it's like too much of a coincidence that every time we washed our clothes and we hung up the clothes in the backyard. They did that. So it was very annoying because you had to like take all the clothes inside the house. Otherwise, they will later stink of smoke. And it, it was just horrible. So, yeah, I, I'm with you with this. That's a very annoying thing to do. OK, totally. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Romero. Alejandro, what what irks you about your neighbors? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's, so, what's so funny <laughs> okay that I live in uh, I have a, a influence neighbor so, <laughs> so I don't want to talk about them but an influencer yeah. yes teacher <laughs> so I don't want to talk about this well, uh, some, some so, yeah. tiktoker or youtuber no no. Peor. <laughs> Worse than that? Okay. No, I don't know what, what yeah. I, I have no idea. But okay, but uh -huh. yeah. no, but I, I I want to ask you about the the expression that used uh Jose. Um how can we say they swelling? How how no, how uh, can uh -huh. we use the, the, the expression used to but in present? You can't. You can't. If you want to express a habit that occurs yes, in the present, exactly. you, you, you have to use present simple. In English, that's the only way. They do anything. Mm -hmm. If you, you can oh, say, for okay. example, they, uh, uh, what did uh, Jose say? I forgot. Ah, yeah, they play music. They play loud music mm -hmm. on you say early in the morning on weekends okay so they play loud music early in the morning on weekends so you have it here it's present simple if you okay. want to talk about a habit occurring in the present you use present simple but if you want to talk about a habit in the past something that yeah. doesn't happen anymore then you use used they to, to. Mm -hmm. uh-huh yeah just like that okay Mm -hmm. okay, simple as thank that. You. Just press and simple. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. All right, so what about number three? If I'm riding in a car, something that irritates me, okay, but this is riding in a car, not driving, okay, because one thing is to be driving and another one is to be riding, okay? You're riding, you're a passenger. Someone else is driving. So if I'm riding in a car, something that irritates me is, what is that? If you want to participate, please let me know. What's something that irritates you when you're riding in a car? No idea? <laughs> Come on, some volunteers. Okay, Jose. Teacher, I have a friend that used to drive like he's mad. And that bothers me because I feel that my life is in risk when I'm... <laughs> When I uh, riding in his car, but again, the question is: You said used to. It's a past habit or a present. I know. Aha! Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Uh, Don't worry. The, uh, he do he he, he do drives. it. He drives. Uh huh. Okay. He, he drives, drives really fast. He drives have, like he's mad. Yeah, I, I have a coworker. Not from English Confortivo, <laughs> my daytime job. Okay, I have a co-worker who drives like that. Okay, I have a co-worker who drives like that. And I have been in his car like twice, about two years ago. But after the second time, I promised myself never to ride in his car again. Because he drives like there's no tomorrow. 
And while I was there, it, just like you said, there in his car, I was like, oh, God, please forgive me. <laughs> okay, I, I, I thought I was going to die or something. It was He was driving so fast and he's so impatient. He's driving that I was like almost holding my seat like, oh, my God. Okay, if I survive this, I'll be a better person. Uh, after that, I decided never to accept rides, you know, from, from this guy ever again. Okay, I prefer to take an Uber <laughs> and spend my money. Anyway, all right, so yeah, that's something that, uh, well, uh, you have number three, something that irritates me, okay? It, it doesn't irritate me, honestly. It scares me, okay, which is a bit different, but okay, I get it. Alejandro Quintanilla. You know, if I ride in, if I ride in, in a car, something mm -hmm. that irritates me is that people use their cell phone. I, I feel so angry when people uh, do that. Okay. Honestly, yes. So uh, when they're driving? Yes, when they are driving, uh -huh, uh -huh. They, they, they are using your, their uh, mm -hmm. cell phone. And yeah, I, yeah. And, 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 and they use no uh, to talk. To no, text. They, they, to te yes, to text. And this is... <laughs> what are you doing yeah, it's, it's annoying and, and and dangerous okay annoying yes. and dangerous very dangerous well yes. anyway <laughs> some people do it okay uh well all right uh miss romero hey it's great that, that that people participate but i'm seeing only the same people talking what about the rest i have over 20 students and only like five people participate where's the other 75 percent okay miss romero please Okay, something that irritates me is like when we're playing some music and there is only one person that wants to talk a lot and don't let out to enjoy the music. Ah, okay, all right, okay, like, okay. Uh, it's like in the car <laughs> or, or any, uh, in any other place? In the car, yeah. In the car, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that happens, that happens, okay. <laughs> Uh, something that I don't like, but this, I mean, it's a driver's choice, I say. It's like when the person driving is playing music that I, I don't enjoy. But I try to respect it because everybody listens to different kinds of music. Okay. And also the person who's driving, I believe, has the right to choose the song. Okay. Because they're driving. And it's because it's their car. Okay. So I cannot say anything about it. But okay, I get it. What about number four? The thing that aggravates me most is a friend okay something that aggravates you is something that makes you angry okay so something that aggravates me most is a friend who i don't know what can you say what can you say about that the thing that aggravates me most is a friend who a friend who's always late or a friend who I don't know. Okay. What's it? Teacher, the thing that aggravates me the most uh, is a friend who said that who said that it's going to to get uh, to arrive in a place and he never uh, arrive, he never get there. He never shows up. He never shows up. Okay. All right, he that, that don't send a message or, or make a call. Mm -hmm. He just don't mm -hmm. uh, show up. So it's like you have an arrangement with that person and you say, we're meeting at this place, this day, at this time. And they just don't show up. And yeah, they don't especially apologize when, about it. Yeah, especially when 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 we are a group that are going to, to meet. To meet mm -hmm. And someone... The, uh, that's someone don't show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying, definitely. But you know something that once happened to me? <laughs> I was about how many years ago? Like like uh, 12 years ago. That was a long time. I'm kind of old. Um, like 12 years ago, I was working in a call center. That's the only time I have worked in a call center, by the way. So I was working in a call center and then I decided that the job was not for me. I didn't like it, I didn't enjoy it. So I made good friends at the call center, but I didn't enjoy the job, so I quit. 
I quit. I decided not to continue because, uh, I mean, back then I was single, didn't have the responsibilities I have right now. So I could afford to quit. I decided to not go anymore. So I quit, but I dis I, I wanted to have like uh, lunch with some of those people like about three weeks later. And then uh, via internet, we made some arrangements and we said, okay, we're meeting at the food court of the mall where the call center was. And uh, at this time, and we're going to have lunch. So I got there on the day uh, of the meeting, and uh, because it wasn't time for them for for the for to have lunch, I decided to go and buy my own food first. And I sat there and waited and waited and waited, and they never showed up. There were about five people, and nobody showed up, no one at all. So I was like, uh, that annoyed me. Okay, so well, anyway, I ate all by myself, and I returned home and then that afternoon they I, I started receiving messages like no hey sorry man no we totally forgot and everybody had forgotten but they started apologizing and apologizing and said like no sorry 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 it was a horrible thing to do uh and then they told me like no next week this day this time okay so i accepted their apology and i went there and uh yeah they were there this time okay they didn't st stand me up <laughs> and uh, it was a nice occasion okay but the first time that happened to me i mean what, what jose was describing but not that just one person it was like five people stood me up right there none of them arrived it was really weird okay by the way uh did you know that you can say stand someone up okay which is in spanish dejar plantado Okay, stand someone up. Mm -hmm. You said that girl stood me up. Okay, chica me dejó plantadas. Okay, you, you can you can say you can use that phrasal verb stand up, but you have to use a an, an object in this case. You stand someone up. Okay, so all right, good. What about number five? The thing that annoys me about people talking on cell phones is what's something that annoys you about people talking on cell phones? Noemi Alicia. Thanks. Uh, the thing that annoys me about people talking on cell phone is not pay attention to me. It's an art of bad education. Okay. All right. So, yeah, the thing that annoys me about people talking on cell phones is that they don't pay attention to you because they probably are paying attention to the person they're talking to. Okay. Yeah, that, that will be it. It's it's uh, like bad manners. Okay. That will be bad manners. Um, all right. I get it. It's true. That can be annoying. Ms. Romero? Something that annoys me about people talking on cell phones is when they are like discussing with someone else and they don't put the other person in the speaker. I want to know the host. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, is, is that what bothers you? Okay, all right. <laughs> you want to know the whole drama. Okay, all right. Exactly. <laughs> Wait a second. So what bothers you is that people don't make their personal dramas up a, a, a public show <laughs> that's what annoys you <laughs> okay all right <laughs> no you know what i what i really speaking of that something that i don't like is when people start arguments with someone else particularly when a boyfriend is having an argument with a girlfriend or a girlfriend with a boyfriend and they just start like having a, this argument in front of you you go like uh it becomes very awkward you go like um you feel the the energy Aha, uh -huh. you go like, uh, should I stay here? Should I leave? <laughs> should, I, should I just give some space for these people to to have their fight? Okay, I don't know. It happens. What say it, I mean. Teacher, what she said, what she says, it's something funny for me, because Why? for example, uh, like one month ago, the the doctor of the uh, of. Uh, uh, the doctor in uh, of my work, where mm -hmm. I work, there's a doctor, mm -hmm. and she was where where we were in a in the line to marcar. How do you say? Because we are uh, going out. Clock in. We were going out. Ah, okay. So clock out. 
So we were we were about to clock out, and she was talking on the on her cell phone, and she was insulting a man, but she was like screaming, and everybody was was like, "Oh my God, why is why is she doing that?" And where we talked about about that situation even nowadays <laughs> and it's kind of funny how long ago was that like one month ago a month ago she's kind of crazy because well we talk about that we talk about that because she's the doctor and sometimes someone have to go and <laughs> and have contact with her mm-hmm you you have become afraid of her a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, the problem about being angry in public is that people don't usually forget. This is why you have to remain calm, even when you're stressed, okay? Because if you lose your temper and you become very angry in public, people will always remember that, always, okay? They will never forget. And they will talk about you. Always. Okay, so that's why you have to keep calm. You know, keep your cool. Byron. <laughs> Some things that annoys me about people talking on cell phones is call me when I am busy. Um, okay, when they call you on the phone when you're busy. When, yes. when they know that you're busy. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because sometimes people can call you. Maybe they don't know you're busy. But yeah, if if they know you're busy and they call you, yeah, that 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 could be something annoying, definitely. Mm hmm. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah, it's like, why don't you call me on my free time? But no, you call me now that I'm working. Okay. Thank you, Byron. Um, who was someone was raising their hand? Who was raising their hand? Boris, you were raising your hand. <laughs> what happened? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, well, uh, about the the, the statement, um, the thing that annoys me about people talking on cell phone is when they are driving and they are talking in, in their cell phone, mm -hmm. it's too dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, it was it was mentioned before, right? But yeah, totally. Okay, when people are using their phones when you're talk when they're talking. Um, it, it is it is dangerous, especially if they don't have any form of, of hands-free device, okay? I remember that I used to have a car. I don't have it anymore. I had to sell it during the pandemic because I didn't have money. <laughs> so, um, but, but with that car, it was pretty cool because I could connect my phone via Bluetooth, okay? So every time I received a call, I would just like push a button and I could speak aloud, okay? It was nice. Of course, it didn't offer any privacy because if I was writing with someone else and I did that, they will hear the whole conversation, okay? But it was really, really cool because I just like just pushed the bottom and then I could have a conversation without using my hands. It was quite convenient. A lot of cars have that option, okay, of course. Um, but what I really don't like it is when people start like talking, like using only one hand, driving in with the other one, they're like uh, using the phone. That That's dangerous. Speaking of which, nowadays you can get a, a hefty fine, okay, if, if they catch you, you know, manipulating your phone while you're driving, okay? I don't know how much you have to pay, but I, I understand that it's, it's a considerable amount of money, okay? So, number six, um, what, is some, what is one thing that bothers you at home? What's one thing that bothers you at home? In other words, you have to talk about the people you live with. <laughs> What's something that bothers you at home? Jose? Where should I begin, teacher? Well, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> then Noelia, Noelia, well, me, Alicia, we'll continue. Okay, Jose. For example, when I, I buy things and my brothers use them, uh, yogurt, uh, milk, whatever mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. thing, I used to, to buy it for me and they use uh, and they and they uh, eat, eat it. Mm -hmm. They so eat my things. You pay, they consume. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That yeah. really bothers me. Yeah, totally. But um, yeah, that, that would totally bother me too. But at least um, 
it doesn't happen these days but years ago before i got married and i was living with my parents and 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 uh i lived with my two brothers there we didn't have this problem it was like if i buy it nobody will touch it and we all respected the rule we all all of us respected the rule so um I didn't have this problem. What happens to me these days is that uh, <laughs> now that I'm married, it's like, for example, we buy something like imagine a piece of, uh, I don't know, there's cake and I don't eat my my part of the cake, my piece of cake. And then the next day I just come home and I look for it and say like, where's my piece of cake? And then my girls tell me something like, oh, we were hungry, so we ate it. And I'm like, seriously? The words in that. In the little letters of the contract, when you sign the yeah. marriage, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but that's the, that's the part that the lawyer doesn't read to you out loud. Okay, but it's it's impl it's it's implied in the contract. So yeah, that 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 totally happens. Okay, uh, but 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 if it's the other way around, and if I eat something that doesn't belong to me, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> it's it's the end of the world. All right, so uh, Noemi and then Alejandro. Okay, Noemi. Thanks. It's one thing that bothers me at home is when I am sleeping 5 a.m., the men of the bread do a... <laughs> toki, 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 toki. <laughs> okay. So is, there's a guy riding a bicycle, I imagine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and they they have like this little trumpet. Okay, that thing. Okay. So okay. Yeah, that sounds annoying. Definitely something that bothers you at home. It doesn't happen inside your house, but it happens in your neighborhood. So yeah, I, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Alejandro. I just I just want to know if you watch the doctor house tv show mm, i know the show but I've, I've i've never really i have never seen a whole episode i know it's a very famous show about this doctor who is a really good doctor that's walking on a with a oh. he uses a walking stick okay and yeah. and apparently he's his he has a a a, a a dependency on, on on some sort of substance or something i don't know but he's he's a very smart guy played by a british guy <laughs> yeah, yeah okay so what happened wh wh why why are you asking <laughs> no because uh, dr house uh, uh, uh -huh. hugh Laurie, I, I think that ah yeah yeah that's the name of the actor hugh Laurie, yes uh he always ate the 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 food of the of his uh best friend in the hospital <laughs> it's the <a> story <laughs> okay so yeah. that's that's something that they call a recurring gag okay in a show recurring, yeah. Yeah. what's okay. a recurring gag it's a, it's a it's a kind of joke that happens in a show that happens regularly it's a recurring oh, okay. gag recurring like if you if you watch uh, El Chavo for example if you watch El Chavo del Ocho right a recurring gag is that Don Ramon always gets slapped in the face because uh -huh. uh, because of something he didn't do okay so okay. that's a recurring gag all right so uh, I guess a recurring gag in Dr. House is that Dr. House always eats the food of his yes. best friend at the hospital <laughs> yes. okay yes. so yeah <laughs> all right well okay that sounds good Byron when my sister doesn't pick up her toys, is one thing that bothers me at home. You have a little sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> she, she plays with her toys and leaves the toys around, lying on the floor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Particularly annoying when you're like walking barefoot and you step on Legos. Okay, that's that's annoying and painful. Okay, it makes you speak several different languages at the same time. So, um, all right, yeah, that happens. <laughs> that totally happens. Okay, um, we're about to finish. Just before we go, um, I'm just going to go through the attendance list once again, very quickly. Okay, if, if I see your name on the list, I'm just going to let's see. Abdi Abiswa uh, is Abdi Abiswa online? No, Alejandro Jose. Yes, here you are. Ana Filomena. Yes, she's here. Ana 
Yanira, it's Ana Yanira Mendoza. Godo. Yes, you're here. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Yes, you're here. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael. Yes, he's here. Boris Martin. Yes, he's also here. Uh, Cecilia Elizabeth. Yes. Cesar Alexander. Yes. Claudia Janet. Yeah. Debbie. Is Debbie online? Apparently not. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Natalia Segura. No. Daisy Carolina. Yes, you're here. Gabriela Lore is also here. Gabriela Stephanie is also here. Gladys Imelda is here. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. Is Jenny Elizabeth online tonight? Yes, present. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Jose Rabin, yes. Carla Stephanie. Where are you, Carla Stephanie? I think she was online a moment ago. Luis Fernando Enriquez. Yes, you are here. Madeline Diana. Also, Maritza. Is Maritza Isabel yes. Mendez? Ah, yes, yes. Here you are. Thank you, Maritza. Melanie Andrea Trinidad. Yes. Noemi Alicia also is here. I believe. Um, Reina Isabel. Yes. Rosa Esmeralda is also here. Rufino Amilcar. Let me see. Hi. Hi, Rosa. Rufino is also here. Or was. <laughs> uh, and Sandra Cecilia Smungia. Yes, here you are. Everybody, thank you for um, joining the meeting. And uh, remember, on this week, we're going to cover section number two and also uh, the midterm. Okay, so we're going to solve all that this week. Uh, we're going to be do a, we're going to be doing a lot of speaking, just like we did today. I encourage. The rest of you to participate because I have over 20 people online. There are 24 people, including me. So there's like 23 students online right now and about only five or six people participate. Okay, I want to hear your voices. Okay, que se escuchen sus voces. No solo cuando me digan que están acá, presente, presente. No, también participemos en clase. Muy importante. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.